Evacuations in San Miguel and Mora counties keep expanding, forcing families to run and leave everything behind again. News 13's Natalie Wattis has been reporting on these fires since they began. She joins us live in San Miguel County this evening. Natalie, a tough situation for a lot of people. Dean, Jessica, that it is. Many people I spoke with today, many families I spoke with today had to flee from canyons like this one behind me. Now I'm going to step out of the way so you can take a better look at just how hazy they are from all of this smoke. Uh, some of them, many of them had to flee with all of their belongings for the first time, but some I spoke with today tell me they had to contend with leaving everything behind for this fire, not once, but twice already. They evacuated us at three, so I left my dad's house that last Friday, and then this Friday I got evacuated from my mom's house. Ariana remembers getting half the day off from school to get ready to evacuate from her dad's house, grabbing what she could to take to her mom's, and then having to do it all over again. Ariana says she's never had to evacuate from a fire before and never imagined the fire would get so big so fast. It's pretty stressful. Like, I never would have thought that it would have came to this. Ariana and her mom came to the evacuation shelter at the Old Memorial Middle School today to stock up on supplies while they sit and hope that their home survives the coming days. Now, all 197 patients from New Mexico's Behavioral Health Institute have also been evacuated today. Some of them to truth or consequences at the state veterans home in two secured units. Others who have committed crimes were taken by police escort to Santa Fe and Santa Rosa. Jessica, Dean. All right, Natalie, thank you. Other evacuations include the San Miguel County Detention Center.